Well, hello, my beautiful and gorgeous bougie friend. Welcome back to the channel. So today I have a really exciting video for you guys. Today I have a huge Enel Couture haul. And I'm really excited to go over everything because I got this really cute kitty lamp. I got a whole bunch of bling glues. I got some bubble gum glue. And I'm really excited to go over everything with you guys. So the first item that I'm going to be showing you guys, which is the star of today's show, is this really cool thing called bubblegum gel. So I've seen a whole bunch of people use this stuff and I've always been really intrigued. It's a nail glue, you guys. You could apply your press on nails with this glue. And what's really cool about it is that you could touch it and look, nothing sticks to your hands or your fingers i don't want to touch it with my bare fingers because to be honest friends i have a thing with like texture i don't like touching stuff it makes me really it makes me go crazy so i'd rather touch it with my gloves and as you guys saw nothing stuck and i also got it in a clear sorry if you guys could hear cars in the background i live next to a freeway <laughs> but yeah look nothing sticks to my finger well a little bit got stuck to my finger with the clear but still i think that's really cool so i really really want to try this out the next item that i got is this bling glue gel it looks a lot like my mccart bling glue but i really wanted to try this out because i always see the creator of Enoch couture max using this stuff on his nails and i wanted to try it out too and the next item that I got are these really cool extra long uh, French tip nails, you guys. And I know that you guys could get French tip nails anywhere. You could get them at the CVS. But friend, you cannot find uh, French tip nails like this length anywhere. Look how long these mamas are. These are humongous. And I love them. And I feel like these are perfect for me who's always on the go and i really love that they also have a low apex too i got these in extreme square and i also got these in tan 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 in the extreme stiletto or the stiletto shape i forgot what the shape is called but it says so right there on the bag i can't really read it right now but yeah this is what they look like and it seems like these ones have a little bit of a higher apex than the squares but i still love them and i think these are super convenient and the next item that i ended up getting is this really cute bling gel it looks like a brush on like gel polish but it's a bling glue and i thought that was really cool and convenient since i'm always blinging things and yeah the next item that I got is another bling glue and this one is called gummy jelly and I've heard a lot of good things about this bling glue and look friend it doesn't come out she's thick AF and the next item that I ended up getting is this really cute kitty lamp but it's called the flashy lamp you could use this to flash your flash cure your nails and I thought it was really cute the only thing that sucks is that you need batteries to uh to work it and I don't have batteries right now it makes me kind of sad I bought it because it reminded me of my cat petunia and the next item that I ended up getting are these cute 3d gems I thought these are really cool. Look, let me show you. Look, they look really milky and opaly at the same time. I love them. I can't wait to use them on future sets. And the last item that I ended up getting was a peel off base coat because I do work with press ons and I like to pop them off as soon as I'm done filming so that I can make a new set. And now that I have all of my items, um, let's get started. So the main item that I do want to use today is the bubblegum glue or the bubblegum glue gel and the Frenchie press ons. So I am going to be prepping my nails really, really fast. So try to keep up, friend. <laughs> oh, and just a reminder, friend, I am a nail biter. So my nails do look really bad. I have really ugly little nubs, so I am sorry if they offend you. So I'm going to start off by uh, prepping my nails with my cuticle pusher. And I'm just going to push back my dead skin on my nails like so. I'm going to be doing this to all of my fingers. And I'm going to be doing this all off camera really quick. And the next step that I do after pushing back my cuticles is I like to take a little buffing block. And I like to buff away the dead skin as well. And I like to add texture to the rest of my nail. And now that I have pushed back my cuticles and buffed the surface of my nails, I'm going to grab some isopropyl alcohol and my favorite lint-free pink wipes that I get from Amazon. And I'm going to be cleaning the surface of my nails like so. I do this to get rid of any oils and to dehydrate the nail as well. 
and now that i have a clean and prep surface i'm going to go in with my favorite base coat this is by lgn pro and i am going to apply a layer of base coat onto my nose like so and then i'm going to set them all in the uv lamp for 60 seconds and i'm going to do this to all of my fingers okay friend and i'm sorry if i went really really fast with the prep the thing is is that i just want to get straight into the bubble gum glue because i know you guys do too <laughs> and now that i have set my nails in the uv lamp for 60 seconds and I have my base coat on my fingers it's time to apply the French tips okay so here are all of my sizes and I can either use the pink bubblegum glue or the clear one and since I have a lot of clear I'm going to go with the clear I am scared of using up all of the pink and since it's a dark shade of pink I'm scared that you'll be able to see through it through the nail you know what i mean so i'd rather go with the clear for now so the way that i've seen the creator of Eno couture apply this is he adds a little bit of dehydrator to the press on nail i don't have dehydrator so i'm going to use some isopropyl alcohol and he dips the nail in like so to scoop in the glue however i went in there a little bit too aggressively <laughs> and i got glue all over the nail so uh let's try this again so i added dehydrator or i cleaned my nail with isopropyl alcohol and now i'm going to do another clean scoop like so and bloop i scooped up some of the product that was really easy and here i am touching it you guys and it's not that sticky you could clean it really easily with isopropyl alcohol and this is what my little scoop of gel looks like and i'm going to apply my press on nail like so i'm going to apply it like i regularly apply a gelix nail or something like that really simple and now i'm going to clean up the edges that was a really simple cleanup and a simple application once i am done straightening it out i'm going to set it in the uv lamp for 60 seconds and voila friend we have a frenchy nail let's do it again so i'm going to grab my tip I'm going to clean the back of it with some isopropyl alcohol. You could also use a drill, friend, if you want to add more texture to it. I don't have a drill, so I'm just going to use some isopropyl alcohol. <laughs> and now I am going to scoop up some of the bubblegum glue. And I'm going to clean up the excess product. Ooh. And now I am going to put it on my finger and by the way i'm hella off camera i'm so sorry i'm a bad friend but i applied it the same way as i did before like so and once i'm done cleaning it up and straightening it out i'm going to flash cure it and i'm done i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to do the rest of my nails now really quick here is what my nails are looking like so far aren't they super cute and classy i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to do my thumb however this time instead of scooping the nail directly in the bubblegum glue i used a little poly gel spatula to apply the bubblegum glue and it applied perfectly fine so if you can't get um the dip right and if you get the glue all over your nail every time you dip it you could use this method and you're good to go here are my final results and when i tell you that my jaw is on the floor friend my jaw is on the freaking floor i love them freaking salon ready nails in less than five minutes what these are so freaking pretty and we can add bling to them we could add designs to them whatever we want and now i am going to do something that is going to make them last a little bit longer i'm going to take my nail file i'm going to flip it sideways like so and i'm going to try to blend the pro the pra <laughs> i'm going to try to blend the plastic nail into my natural nail like so and the reason why i'm doing this is to ensure that the press on nail doesn't pop off and it's not sitting directly on top of my nail it's all blended all together does that make sense friend and i'm also going to file the sides and the top to shape it up and this is what my nail looks like so far i'm going to do the rest of them as well and now that my cuticle area is nice and blended and everything is looking nice and flushed i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to grab a little pink buffing block and i'm going to blend it even more and i'm also going to smooth out the roughness that the nail file left behind you guys are going to notice that i'm only going to buff around the cuticle area and i'm not going to go further up and the reason is because i realized that the more that i buffed around the white part of my press on nail the more i scraped off some of the white french tip and i don't want to do that so if you guys also get these tips try to be really careful and try not to buff off some of your white french tip 
or your white is it gel polish i don't know what it is but try not to do that <laughs> And once I am done blending my press-on nails, I am going to go ahead and I'm going to clean them with some isopropyl alcohol to get rid of any dust. And to bring them back to life and to bring the shine back to them, I'm going to paint them with my Wonder Gel Top Coat by Enel Couture. And this gel polish is so shiny, friend. You are going to freaking love it. Okay, my bougie mommies, what do you think? I am loving this hoochie French and if you are a lazy girl like me, you are going to love this method of applying your press on nails Look how easy and how simple that was Now we can either leave my nails plain like this or we can add some nail art and I'm thinking let's do some nail art So I am going to be attending like a 90s theme party So I want to do like graffiti bubble letter nails And I'm going to grab some inspo by this set that was created by another YouTuber named V Nailed It And this set that I also found on Instagram as well The creator of this set is named Foreign Claws And when I also googled graffiti bubble letters Like this picture came up And I kind of want to take all three of these inspo pictures Mash them all together and see what kind of bubble letters i can make so what do you guys think let's make some bubble letters <laughs> so i'm first going to start off by taking a dotting tool and with the dotting tool i'm going to pick up some of my gel polish color and i'm going to go with the color electric pink by no addict delay and i'm just going to paint on the letter b i found it a lot easier to use the dotting tool to draw out the base of my letters instead of using nail art brushes she's looking hella cute y'all okay i'm going to set her in the uv lamp for 60 seconds and when i take her out i'm going to grab a really thin nail art brush and with a darker pink this is bubble bubble gum pink by no addict delay i'm going to go around my letter b like so with a thin little line okay i don't want to make it too thick And this is what our little bee is looking like. I'm going to set it in the UV lamp for 60 seconds again. And when I take her out, I'm going to grab some black gel nail polish. And with the black gel nail polish, I'm going to be doing the same thing once again, but over the pink line that we just made. Does that make sense? <laughs> that sounded a little confusing. And now that I have fully outlined my letter B, I'm going to grab my dotting tool. I'm going to dip it in some black gel nail polish and I'm going to fill in um, the hollow spots of the B. Alright, she's looking super cute. Okay, so I'm going to set it in the UV lamp for 60 seconds. And when I take her out, I'm going to grab some white gel nail polish. This is White Addict by No Addict LA once again. And I'm going to draw these little white highlight spots. I'm going to put one at the top and I'm going to put one in the bottom. Okay, friend, what do you think? Here's the B with the little highlights. I think it's hella cute. I'm going to set it in the UV lamp for 60 seconds now. And when I take it out, I'm going to grab this lime green color by McCart. It's called Crystal Green and some clear gel nail polish. I'm going to mix the two colors together to create an even lighter jelly green. And I'm going to go over my letter B like so. Well, not over it, just like around it to create like it's like an airbrush highlight or dimension. Either one. It's gonna look cute. <laughs> And this is what my bee looks like. I already set her in the UV lamp. And now I'm going to go over everything with a nice juicy layer of clear gel nail polish. And I feel like this made the bee come to life. Look how pretty she looks. I'm actually really proud of her. I'm not really good at doing nail art. So this is honestly such a big accomplishment for me. 
And so now using the same steps that I did creating my little B, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to create the rest of my letters really quick, okay? And this is what my whole entire bubble letter set looks like together. It's so freaking cute. Yes. And this is what it looks like in better lighting. I'm so sorry. The sun hella set <laughs> while I was painting them and the lighting went down. And I'm thinking that they're looking a little plain. So I'm going to take my little bling wheel that I got from a cart. And I'm going to take my squeezy um, nail glue that I got from Eno Couture. And I'm going to add a little bit of bling around my bubble letters. After applying the bling on my nails, I put my hand in my UV lamp for 60 seconds and I set my stones and this is what everything looks like. I love it. Everything looks good with a little bit of bling. And now I decided to zhuzh up my thumb a little bit. I have this pom-pom right here. It was originally white, but I wanted a pink one. So I used a pink highlighter to paint it and it worked. <laughs> so I'm going to glue it onto my nail really quick. And this is what everything looks like all together. I love it. Now let's add the finishing touch. I'm going to take my favorite cuticle oil. This is a cotton candy cuticle oil by Ina Couture. And I'm just going to brush it around my cuticle area like so. And bam, my beautiful and gorgeous bougie friends. Here is my set. What do you guys think? <laughs> I am honestly super duper proud of this set and I hope I was able to make bubble letters easy for you. I even vlogged a little bit of the party if you guys want to know how that went. Look, this is my outfit. Since it was 90s, I went with casual 90s because I didn't know how many people were going to dress up. And you know how it's like awkward if nobody dresses up and I was right. <laughs> barely nobody dressed up it was a tattoo shop party because uh they were going to be offering 30 dollars flash tattoos the birthday boy is a tattoo artist and here's my husband he's ready to get a tattoo then he actually ended up getting the golden gate bridge tattooed on his arm right underneath my eye and here i am with the stencil on my neck i ended up getting a tattoo as well and here's my artist doing my little rose his name is skunk roses by the way check him out on instagram and here's my little tattoo hoochie yeah i love it and here's the birthday boy by the way happy birthday adrian somebody spilled hella tequila on the floor and two seconds later the cake fell and it almost fell again and i helped pick it up and overall it was a really fun party and towards the end of the night adrian's dad showed us some pretty sweet moves look at that fancy footwork i love it and these are the other tattoos that i got i got a butterfly by big tossy and i got a little diamond by jose yeah and <laughs> that was my night i had a really really good time i honestly don't remember half of it but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed my low mini vlog and make sure to leave me a like if you guys did i'll try to include more vlogs if you guys want sometimes the reason why i do my nails is because i'm going out and sometimes i really like to be on theme so if i can include vlogs or anything like that in my videos i will and yeah thank you guys so much for watching to the very end let me know what you guys thought about the bubblegum glue and i hope i was able to teach you how to do bubble letters as well i'm also fully aware that we didn't use everything in my eno couture haul in today's video so i'll try to include those items in future videos so that we could also try them out and see if they work especially the bling glues but all right thank you so much for hanging out with me to the very end i love you so much my beautiful and gorgeous bougie friend and i will see you next week Mwah. bye